We're on the Murfreesboro Courthouse Square and this slag glass looks like a bunch of huge diamonds and this is a huge pan and pick and shovel and this is kind of a neat place. You could park at the courthouse and come over and have your kids uh, squat down by these giant diamonds and get their picture taken. Uh, this used to be an old gas station on the corner here and I think it's kind of a cute old building. And then right next to it is the historic Conway Hotel. It now has a copper roof. But and the Feed Den restaurant has some excellent Cajun food here. Great place to eat. And uh, so when you're in Murfreesboro for Crater of Diamonds, come come visit. Uh, the Southern Dime Cafe is right right here. You can park in the back or in the front and uh, go in there and eat. So I wanted to show you a historic marker. This was erected in 1936. So some of the information on this cast iron sign is kind of dated. But uh, they talk about the Pike County Diamond Mines and say that Two and a half miles southeast of this point where we're standing right now at the courthouse, it's the only locality in North America where diamonds have been found in the rock in which they were formed. Now, now you'd have to say that isn't true because diamonds have been found in Canada and that's North America, but at the time this was true, and diamonds have been found on the Colorado-Wyoming border. So. This sign is outdated, but it's historic that it's been here, you know, this long. Uh, the diamonds have been found principally in one igneous pipe, which with three small pipes aggregates about 80 acres. And what they're saying is the search territory today is 37 acres, but there's three other pipes that make East Hill, Middle Hill, and West Hill and together it's 79 or 78 or 80 acres something like that these pipes are the craters of a volcano which erupted under the water of a sea which covered this place diamonds were first discovered in october 1906 some historians say august 1906 uh, by john huddleston but it is estimated that at that time 40,000 diamonds have been recovered about 8% of the diamonds recovered have been gemstones. Now, I, I beg to differ with that. For one thing, I believe more than 48,000 diamonds were found up to that point. Uh, but, you know, they don't record everything for taxes. <laughs> and the other thing, only 8% are gemstones. Well, they're talking uh, not quality, but size, uh, large enough to be cut and set in jewelry so what they thought of as gemstones at that time are different than what i would consider gemstones now but to me uh, i found a lot of beautiful gems that are under a carrot uh, we have a 78 point yellow that's absolutely flawless and it would not have been considered a gemstone at that time because by the time you cut it it'd be smaller than what most people would like but anyway this is right here on the murfreesboro courthouse square at at the courthouse and uh, they do have this historic sign here and this is where we started where the pick shovel and screen is and honestly you could park here and watch for traffic and walk across and get your picture taken here i think it's kind of cute if the kids knelt down and pretended those were giant diamonds that they found uh, thanks for joining me again in this uh, lovely little town. Uh, come visit. Murfreesboro's fun.